Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will be learning about how to add slight transition effect in object animation into your presentation that you have made in Google Slides. To add those two things is actually pretty simple and I'm going to show it to you now how to do it step by step. First, about slight transition effect. It's an effect that you want to give um, when a slide change to another slide. So it's the effect, the transition effect. And to do that, it's very simple actually. You just have to click a slide that you want to add the transition effect to and then click transition right here. You should be able to see this. It says none right now because that particular slide still has no effect. So all you have to do, change this none into any effect that you see on the list. For example, here I choose Q. You can adjust the speed of the transition effect if you want to. And you can also check whether the effect is the one you want. So when you click a play right here, you will see the transition effect. That's Q. So if you like Q, that's it. You got yourself already the slide transition effect inside the slide one. Now, if you want all slides to have the same slight transition effect, you can click apply to all slides. When you click this, automatically all slides you have in your presentation will have the same transition effect, which is cube. So I'm going to click right here, apply to all slides. Now you see all slides now have the same slide transition effect, just like the first slide. So that's how you add slide transition effect. Number two, we're talking about object animation here. Object animation is actually an, an effect, an animating, animating effect that you give to each object you see in each slide. For example, right here in slide one, I have a text right here, the title of the slideshow. I also have my name and I also have a picture. So basically, if you want to add object animation, you got to pick first what you want to give the object animation to. For example, over here, if I want to give it to the title, remember, you have to know which one comes first, which one comes next. So for example, here, the title should come first before my name. That's the reason I'm picking my title first. So after I click the title right here, I just have to click add animation right there. When I click add animation, you will see the the first animation is automatically selected for me, which is fade in. So when I click this, I notice now there are more than just fade in. There is also fade out, fly in, fly out, zoom in and zoom out and also spin right here. So what, what makes them uh, different? You must remember that you should know first this object animation is to make the text or the object comes in or to make them comes out. So let's say, for example, I want to make the text comes in. So what I'm going to do over here, I'm going to choose any of the effect that has in on it, so like fade in, fly in, fly in, or zoom in. The other way, the other way around, if you want to make the text to come to go out, then you got to choose anything with out on it. So it depends on what you want to do. So let's say, for example, you're creating a slideshow for your teacher. Your teacher wants you to use anything within. That means you have to be careful. Choose anything within. Uh, for example, over here, I want my title to be zoom in. Let's see. Let's see what it looks like. And then after the title, I'm going to make my name now to appear. Let's say this time I'm going to choose fly out, fly in from left. The text will come come in from left. Let's see what it looks like. So the picture, which I did not put object animation, will appear first, which is exactly what I want to happen. And then I click once, the title comes into the slide. And then when I click again one more time, you see now my name comes into the slide. So that is um, what object animation is about.
yes, you can always decide whether the object animation will come in automatically or on click. So you can actually adjust it from here. If you just want to keep it on click, so you just have to click before the text comes in, like this one, for example. When, the, when I click on the text and then um, I click on the animation right here, let's say I choose um, uh, flying from top. So what happened now is that I have to choose whether you want the animation to come in by clicking or automatically with after previous or with previous. It's up to you whether uh, you need it. Uh, to be on click or automatically let's say for example I want it to be automatically this time so it's gonna look like this I don't have to click anything and you see the text right away comes in by, by itself automatically I didn't do anything with it so that's uh, what it is about um, slide transition effect and object animation I, I hope this video is useful for you and I hope you enjoy it thank you so much for watching I'll see you guys again next time